Yeah, hey everybody, sorry I can't be there in person tonight. I'm gonna try to record this for you and if I can get there by Zoom or by phone, I'm gonna try to do that as well. I have a little child conflict, so I may have to just miss. But I'm gonna do the best I can and get you the information you need. So um, to start with, if this works, uh, we just had our Celebration of Schools event last Wednesday. Many of you were there and thank you guys for your help. Thank you for sponsoring a table. Uh, we appreciate it. This is just kind of a couple snapshots of what went on. We had about 400 people here. Um, we showcased a lot of our 300 and now 800 wing, which is going to be our arts programs, mostly our visual arts. Um, that'd be graphic design, visual imagery, film, and then drawing and painting. And then um, we also had our choir performing, our orchestra performing, and then um, our robotics kids also kind of put on a little demo as they uh, as the, the people went through tours and sorry it still says click to add text i'm going through um, just like the edited version or the editing version anyway um the cte building as you guys know many of you have seen it it's complete here's kind of what the completed um uh, graphic design room looks like this is the storage room um i think many of you have already seen the inside of the robotics room but there's still a lot to do there this is now kind of a uh, we're calling it a store where they display a lot of student work and kids will eventually actually sell their their stuff out of here um this is obviously the graphic design room that's coming in just fine there's still a few more things that we've got to do with it uh, but those are the ones showing the most progress the engineering room there's still a ton of new stuff happening almost daily uh, where we get new equipment new furniture um, and everything like that um also here's where we sit with the uh the gym and the weight room. So this project is right now, it's delayed till about uh, February is what we're thinking. Um, as of now, basically these walls have, they've finished putting the outer panels on them. They look more like this now all the way around. There's like actually a little crown along the top right here, but they're all closed in now. Um, at this point, rain can't stop us. So we're gonna keep moving. Um, this is the inside of the weight room. This is the inside of the gym. Um, we got to go in and kind of check things out and um, everything's progressing. Like I said, it should be done around February. If you're interested, this is kind of what the inside of the weight room uh, is going to look like. Um, we've already got the flooring here. Uh, we have an install meeting for that on Friday. Um, this looks way more like a college weight room, um, which is amazing. Um, we have to be smart just about how we use it and, and how we uh, utilize the space because it still is roughly limit or uh, somewhat limited space. But these types of racks and systems like that, uh, the idea is all the mobility and, and all the flexibility that, that they allow for is what we're looking at. Um, these these types of setups, um, you can see these benches, they tilt so you could do bench press, incline, whatever. There are also a lot of athletic moves or Olympic lifts. That's what these platforms are for. These weight bumpers are for. Obviously, like the pull-up bars, those are all in there. But what's nice is in the center here, these um, uh, benches can slide back, and that just opens up more room for plyos or something like that, too. Um, so we're excited for that. That, um, like I said, looking at February. Um, this right here, just some updated artwork. A lot of this is care of PTO. This one was the most recent one that was finished out on the back here. Um, this is our graphic design teacher who actually used it to recognize some kids, which is kind of a cool picture. This was actually done by uh, the same company, but our ASB uh, funded this one. Um, this, you can kind of see that it was a royal blue and just didn't match what we were doing. This was a PTO funded one, again, thank you guys. This is one that was actually funded by our district. They just redid the pool mural. Um, I think I can move my camera out of the way. Hope you guys can see that now on the recording. Um, but um, yeah, there you go. One of the things that we are, are still working on um, is getting art for what appears to be called Path of, of Patriots. Um, that new, uh, that kind of hall of fame that we've talked about in PTO, uh, we sent out a kind of a ballot or a, a poll to see what people liked and Path of Patriots was by far the, the winner. Um, so we're having the same logo company that's done this work. Um, they are gonna go ahead and design something here. Uh, their guy's actually out of town right now, but he'll be back. And they've done some good stuff. Um, so we wanna give them a shot at it first. We also have some stuff coming. We, we don't know yet what we're gonna put on the new building yet. We kinda of wanna get the new gym um, done and hand it over to us. And then we'll take a look at what kind of artwork we might wanna put on it. Um, 
We also, as you guys I'm sure are aware, just had homecoming. Let me move this out of the way again. Um, obviously the game, the halftime show, there was always fireworks at the show. Uh, it was great. We had a great turnout. We've actually changed how uh, the kids sit in the stands. Student section used to be over here. Now it's over here with the band pushed over. That allows for more adults to sit in here. It's just a better experience overall for everybody. This was a, sh a photo of the dance that we had about 1,400 kids at. And just so you can see what happens, I put together uh, just a quick little, very quick. And of course, there it goes. So um, that's... That's what your kids were doing on Saturday night, if they were there. Um, and then we also have uh, Mental Health Week. That's what we're working through this week. And again, I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, you can see here we had Minnie the therapy dog. She was here on campus uh, today. Um, around the clock tower, each day we have different tables. This is actually, you can kind of see it here. Mr. Smith here is making balloon animals. Little known fact, he actually used to do that. Um, he was, was paid money to make balloon animals. Um, this was again the line to see the dog. We had make your own fidget spinners. There were a couple other stations throughout, um, and so we had that going on too. Um, at this point, going forward, uh, we kind of start settling into the norm. Um, our athletics are still rolling. Obviously, we're we're almost to playoffs with athletics. At the next meeting, I'll probably probably give you more of an update on that stuff. And depending on how my drop off and pickup works for my son, I'm going to try to call in or jump in via Zoom to answer any questions. Um, that's it. Thank you, guys.